But I also had awkward situations growing up. You know, for example, uh, when I was 15 years old, my friend gave me condoms uh, just as a prank. Uh, oh, but I put the condoms aside because I was only 15. And we Chinese guys, we don't hit puberty until we are 29. <laughs> By 15 years old, uh, me, and my, me and my friends, we were learning karate from my friend Mike. And, and Mike, he was a black belt in karate. And the rest of us learning from him, we were like beginner, yellow belts. You know, and, uh, and because it was an informal class, we didn't have all the colors in between. You know, so uh, those karate sessions were kind of like a Wiz Khalifa rap song. You know, black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> So I was learning karate, but my mom can be overprotective, so I didn't tell my mom that I was doing karate. And then one day my mom, she finds the condoms. Uh, so my mom came up to me and said, Boy, I found your protection. Have you been doing it? Now, I didn't know she was talking about condoms. Uh, I thought she found my groin protector for karate. <laughs> So I said, oh, yes, mom, I do it after school every day. <laughs> oh, mom, uh, you should come and watch. <laughs> I can show you some of my moves. <laughs> my mom was like, what? You are too young to do stuff like this. Not too young. Mike has been doing it since he was 10 years old. <laughs> and he had to pay to do it. <laughs> I get to do it for free. <laughs> My mom is shocked. She's like, Who's your partner? Uh, I don't have a regular partner. <laughs> we do it in groups. <laughs> We swap partners. <laughs> now my mom is really freaking out. <laughs> How many girls have you done this with? <laughs> what girls? <laughs> I do it with guys. <laughs> Most of them are yellow, but one of them is black. 